real place. I have been a face. Wishing star child. So free and wild. Dreams of flight. Oh, oh, oh. Welcome to Disney's wonderful world. Welcome to Disney's wonderful world. I've had some of my own gymnasts work tumbling with one arm in a cast or something like that for a brief period of time. But the fact that she's worked all the events and uh, uh, has been an all-around gymnast is just astounding. Carol Johnston, against overwhelming odds, was well on her way to a national collegiate championship when fate dealt her one more blow. And so her remarkable climb to the top became a struggle just to come back and prove herself again. You know, if it was somebody else, I might say, you know, I'm not sure whether they're going to make it or whether they're not going to make it, but... If it's physically possible, in fact, me, if it's not even physically possible, she may still make it anyway. The true personal story of Carol Johnston, the one they call Lefty. Tonight's NBC special. We're covering the individual events of the AIAW National Women's Collegiate Gymnastics Championship. Earlier, Nancy and I had a chance to visit with one of the gymnasts. She's from Calgary, Canada, and is a sophomore at Cal State Fullerton. Carol Johnston. Let's go through the four events. First, the floor exercise. I love to do the floor exercise because it's so individualized. I can do what I do best. So be, having one arm is no problem. Like, my balance is still normal. If you could be anywhere besides here at Collegiate Nationals doing anything you wanted to be doing, what do you think you'd be doing? Playing racquetball, tennis, just relaxing out in the sun. <laughs> it's fun. Is there anything that you cannot do? I haven't found anything yet. <laughs> of all the athletes I have ever met, I can honestly say she's the greatest. And she's up next on the beam. Carol needs to be very aggressive. She has an attitude when she works the balance beam of, I'm going to do it and I'm not going to let anybody else beat me. I have the feeling she loves to perform. She sure does. She looks like she has complete control. You know, the hardest thing to do up on that beam is to look like you are enjoying your routine. Super job. She's very solid. My first big meet, boy, was I nervous. And Carol has developed. All I kept thinking about was don't fall off. It's enjoyable to watch. Now, Charlie, watch this. Here comes her dismount. Carol Johnston of Cal State Fullerton. And the crowd loves her. When I came off that beam, I was really in the clouds. They score a 9.5. That makes her total 18.7. And she's in first place. Actually, I started out as a skater back home in Calgary. My friend Karen and I sure had a lot of fun. Then I got into gymnastics just to strengthen my legs for skating. As far as being born with one arm, well, it just makes me figure out different ways of doing things. Coming home to places where I first was shown, nothing comes to take Carol very long to get interested in gymnastics because she uh, was a challenge. She wanted to try everything. And uh, with Carol, if she couldn't do something, she thought about it and finally worked it out in her own way. All the years of training Bit of toughness showing, and you 
She's not, and she brings hers out, and it's completely finished, just great. And that always made me like, how did she sew? I mean, I just couldn't believe some of the things that she was doing. I was so surprised my first year. And you found a way to keep on growing. When I came to Fullerton, I was really self-conscious about my arm. My coach, Lynn, and the team members always used to joke around. They made me feel really comfortable that it didn't matter. When uh, Carol first arrived, the rest of us knew that she was uncomfortable. And it wasn't easy for us either. I think one of the first things that, uh, to relieve my tension as, as, as well as relieve Carol's, uh, started calling her lefty. I don't think anybody was that, was that blunt before. I think we, we think of all the girls here as individuals, and Carol is just Carol, not one-armed Carol or not short Carol. She's just Carol. She's, she's credible for just who she is. Come on. Stick. That go. That's enough. You know, I'm still... We're all getting used to working with Carol, but, but the men's team and their coach are, are still really amazed to watch her. We go in the gym, we work out harder, we see Carol working out, and we're just going, wow, look at that, you know? And it's just, it's just, like, when I'm doing something, I'm a little down. Sometimes I think about her a lot, you know? And it just gives me more adrenaline. It just, I don't know, it just makes us work harder. My original reaction was a one-armed gymnast. I don't think so. Uh, the thing that was really astounding was that she could work bars. I felt it was possible that she could work floor because I've, I've had some of my own gymnasts work tumbling with one arm in a cast or something like that for a brief period of time. But the fact that she's worked all the events and uh, has been an all-around gymnast is just astounding. At the beginning of Carol's third year, we could, we could tell she, she seemed to be a lot more confident and more determined than ever. And we counted her for um, scores because she's very consistent. And when the rest of us is shaky, we count on Carol to be very solid. One of the things that's been really good for my own gymnastics, and a lot of fun too, is coaching a team of my own. I can't believe how much energy these kids have. They really keep me going. They're not shy about asking me questions either. When I put my hand down, I put it in front of me, so it's over my head, so I'm centered. Yeah, I do that that thing where you turn around, and then you turn around again. My and twist? Then, yeah. Okay, I Whatever. shoot out, and hanging on with one arm, I, I half twist, okay? Uh -huh. So then my arm's twisted like this, and as I beat the bar, I sort of unwind. So I do the half that I already turned, and another half, so that makes me do my full twist. Oh, 
Okay, now I want you to walk backwards with your eyes shut, okay? It's really tough, but feel the beam with your feet. I guess they need a little work. As for myself, I work out six days a week, four and a half hours every day, but that's only in the gym. You always are constantly thinking what you have to do. But as far as I'm concerned, it's worth it. I love performing, I love the crowds, and most of all, I love just being accepted for who I am. This year, I'm really trying for the national championship for floor exercise. I've changed my routine, and last year I was second by missing first by a bit, and I think with my changes that I've made, I can really go for that title. with UCLA and I'm going to be doing an exhibition on bars. It's been, I've been having a bit of a problem with my dismount lately and I'll be focusing in on that. But I want to do the best that I can even if it's not the nationals. I always have that pressure. But I don't usually get butterflies until I'm right out there ready to warm up. guy here. Let's, let's okay. let Doc take a look uh, at her uh, here. Jim. Who's the Bend it off. Oh, Bend it off. Bend it off. Oh, that's you. <gasps> Barbie? Bonnie? We need to see you right here. No, uh -uh. Don't worry about his knee, all right? Take care of your crowd. Anybody ask how Carol's knee? Carol's knee's fine. I really don't think she should be. Any possible tears or anything? Yeah, I think she's got an anterior cruciate. It's probably torn. Does that mean operation? Well, it means a reevaluation and a redecision as to what she's going to do. But there's no way she can compete tonight with that knee as unstable as it is. It's going to feel unstable and it'll probably throw her off on her balance. So you think she's blown it up? I think she is. It may well be. May well be. It was really terrible to be down that low. I was feeling guilty, too, because it was time for the meet to begin. And it's hard for the other kids. It's just like they worry about you, and it's hard for them to get back in to what they're doing. Carol's a, a leader of the team, and all of us know what we want to do at the end of the year, and not having Carol's not going to make that easier for us. And uh, right now, it's you know, what can I do with, the, with my other seven kids to get the same job done that I wanted to do before. I feel for her, and I feel for me, and I feel for the rest of my team. I feel kind of like I've worked so hard, and then it's just ended right all of a sudden. And it's a shock, like, to your body and to your brain. But the hardest thing is watching other people compete, knowing that you should be out there and you can't. Missing from our team, we try and put it out of our mind and just concentrate on our performance. But it's always there's always that empty spot yeah. that can totally either put her out. You know, like this season could be gone right now for her. We'll put her about eight weeks behind schedule. 
and unfortunately our nationals is in about eight weeks, so I mean, just it's going to... A week out of the gym is, is very crucial. Sure. Carol's determination is uh, like that of many of the other kids I have on my team. I mean, she's a champion just like they're champions, and to be a champion with one arm, it's very, very difficult. I'm going to be optimistic at this point that her knee is going to come back and that she'll do what what she wants to do. This thing. Well, looks, looks like you've turned the ligaments. The cruciate ligaments. Both of them? And Last the medial one, yeah. Because mm -hmm. remember when I turned your knee... Carol's got another year here. And uh, yeah, I remember. if it's feasible, if the doctor says your knee's going to be okay, then she'll be okay. And then we'll get you a pair of crutches. If Carol's knee is, is not able to come back gymnastically, she would just be good at whatever else she chooses. That's just Carol. Um, I have a chance at a title. And I just have to do it. That's my goal. Unfortunately, our worst suspicions were confirmed with Carol. In her surgery, we actually found that she had several things happen to her knee. I think the most significant injury that she's had is the injury to the anterior cruciate ligament, which uh, was torn completely free from its upper attachment. And I can't really predict what's going to happen with her ligament repairs. But hopefully, in about eight months, we'll have her back and finding out whether or not this girl is going to be able to stand the rigors of competition at a national level. And now, for Cal State Fullerton, Barbie Mislack on the vault. Barbie will be attempting a handspring front somersault. ligaments my knee, which put me out all season. And how long uh, will you be out now? Well, just being at nationals should have been exciting. I wanted to keep my spirits up for the team, but it was really hard. Cal State Fullerton, Susan Archer. This is, in my opinion, Susan's best event. Lynn gave me things to do to keep me busy, but I can't say it really helped. I had worked too hard and too long to be at nationals just to watch. The injured Carol Johnston looks on. After the floor exercise, Barbie Mislack of Cal State Fullerton. She needs a 9.15. Double four. A strong finish isn't good enough, Nancy. Cal State Fullerton wins the national team title. The injured Carol Johnston and their coach, Lynn Rogers, to accept... I noticed that Carol was crying. I know I had tears in my eyes. And it was a very emotional time for the both of us. I know that Carol was was very happy for the for the team, and obviously I was I was happy that we won the nationals too. But well, I just wish that Carol could have been competing. It has been exciting. It has been close. I've never been injured before. I've never been in the hospital before. I've never had stitches or surgery before. And I did it all in one shot. And um, at first I was wondering how I'd be walking on crutches. In fact, a lot of people were asking that same question. But I guess all the commotion I make when I hop around has kind of paid off. It attracted Matt's attention. Carol is really something else. It's amazing, you know. 
I, I just can't believe how well she's adjusting to all this. Well, the biggest adjustment is that I can't walk. I really know what handicapped is now. And that was the hardest thing I found, that I couldn't do the things I used to. I was so used to being able to do anything I wanted. And it's really frustrating. classes are in the phys ed department along the same hall so I just go up and down the hall but I did have to drop my jogging class <laughs> right now I'm working out about an hour a day stretching and doing sit-ups I do about 200 sit-ups about 20 25 leg lifts I'm finding that I tighten up a lot more than what I used to. Ah, the first thing I'm going to do when I get out of my cast is take a shower. And then I'm going to sit outside in the sun and try to get my left leg the same color as my right leg. sure that when we take Carol out of her cast, she's going to be weeks, if not months, ahead of where the average individual would be, simply because she's dedicated herself so extensively to doing what we've asked her to do, and then some. But I think that for her to even make it back on the gymnastics team at Cal State Fullerton, number one in the nation, is going to be an extreme accomplishment. Short segments. to walk into this room without my cast. I know there's a lot of hard work that I have to do, a lot of catching up, but I'm ready for it. Go ahead, pull, climb. Come on, harder, harder, pull. is progressing more rapidly than I think that we expected, say, maybe a month ago. It's strong, stronger every day. She's gaining more flexibility. We're a little bit concerned that she doesn't have as much flexibility as maybe we would like, but at this point in time, it is, it is coming. She's almost daily doing new things and getting closer to where she was before. It's going to require an enormous amount of dedication. Uh, I'm not concerned about Carol from what I know of her. Uh, she is a very determined young lady. And I probably will have my problems with her holding her back than trying to get her to go ahead. I've cautioned her about being particularly careful when she's doing this simply because she could inadvertently fall and fall on her straight leg she could be in serious uh, jeopardy of re-injuring her leg. Now, a lot of times when an athlete gets injured, they develop a new level of patience because they're forced to slow down and to concentrate on some parts that they normally wouldn't pay much time or attention to. But Carol's always been that kind of an athlete. Now, the first six months she's been doing calisthenics and exercises and stretching and uh, mentally her, her progress is fantastic. She's excited, she's enthusiastic, she's hungry, you know, she's anxious to do well. You know, if it was somebody else, I might say, yeah, I'm not sure whether they're going to make it or whether they're not going to make it, but if it's physically possible, in fact, me, if it's not even physically possible, she may still make it anyway. Ever since the first day I got out of my cast, 
Everyone's been saying, when are you going to do your first dismount? It's not something I've been rushing into. You know, you try and keep injuries out of your mind. But when I fly off that bar the first time, I'm sure going to hold my breath. From Texas, Mississippi, North Carolina, Huntington Beach. This one's from Connecticut. Ever since I was on TV at Nationals, I've been getting a lot of letters. I love reading them. Excelled in gymnastics, such as discus throw, relay races, softball, field of day events, <laughs> but she never tried the bars. I guess my favorite ones are from the kids. Dear Carol, I'm glad I saw you on television. You have given me a lot to think about. I'm at Children's Hospital in Cincinnati. Please send me your picture. Your friend, Jerry Parker. Hi, Jerry. Hi, How are you? I found out that Jerry had lost his left arm in a farming accident and injured the other one really seriously. And when Lynn took me along to a meet in Cincinnati, I had a chance to stop by and see Jerry in person thrown me in the whirlpool. They've been put, put me in the whirlpool and then they've been working with my wrist, bending it back, and trying to get me to touch my fingertips with it. I can touch almost all of them except for my second one. It's still a little stiff yet, but it's it's coming. That's all it is. It's just determination. Determination and adjusting minor things that you have to do. Mm-hmm. It's just really amazing. Like, when you look around, there's a lot of people doing some great things. I always look at them and go, wow. They're really great, and they look back at me and go, wow, but I don't think I'm doing anything. Well, I do. <laughs> You're doing really good. Do you milk a cow? Yeah. I've always wanted to learn how to milk a cow with one hand, because they always show with two, but I... I it ain't hard. It just takes a little more time. You can do it with one hand, though? Yeah. That's how I used to when I was on, because I'd have to hang on something so I wouldn't fall off the stool. You'll have to teach me how to milk it with one hand, then. Just start pulling. <laughs> Yeah, I needed it. That's routine, okay? Pretty good. I 
We're getting together. Back to work. Back to work. That didn't look too hard. That's a lot harder than gymnastics. No, it isn't. Let me see you do a cartwheel. Well, I lost another one. Okay. Okay, now it's your turn. I, I know I'll never tell Carol this, but there was a time when I used to just hang around the gym and wait for her to come out. It took me forever to finally get up enough courage to talk to her. Well, and wait. Okay, you can hit a serve. Go ahead. Wait a minute. I gotta get out of the way. <laughs> out. <laughs> hey, get your arms up, Karen. Good. Arms up. Get your eyes up. Nice. Right. My kids are looking pretty good. Get your hips In up. fact, their first meet is coming up. Oops. And they don't think they're ready for it. Okay, that was much better. But I do. I just hope that I'm ready for my meet. first meet. Yeah. Okay, let's go do some more stuff. It's been nearly a year since I've competed in front of a crowd. Talk about nervous. I haven't felt like this since I was 12. Situated in the pans, so you got it all spread out even like that, right? Mmm, eggs for dinner, eh? Yeah, that's that's all I can cook. I thought so. <laughs> Notice how I grated that? Yeah, that's really nice. I worked on it, practiced. And you can spread your cheese out all over the thing, you see. Just on one side? Huh? You put it all over. And then we're gonna have to put in some asparagus. See. And we take asparagus. Yeah. Is this your take own some asparagus? Variation? Yeah. It's really good for you. It's 
green. Everything that's green is good for you. This is just, yeah, this is my way of doing it. One more piece. Oops. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't look too good, but it tastes okay. I told you it would. You did really well at your meet the other day. I did okay up until my floor came, and then I landed short. I hurt my knee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the swelling hasn't gone down, and it's been really sore. Mm. Well, you've done that before after a hard day, hard workout. Yeah, but it hasn't hurt this much. I don't think it's anything to worry about. All right, you guys, this is the last time I'll see you before the competition. Be here a bit early so we can talk before the meet, and I'll tell you what order you'll be on events. Let's see what else. Are there any questions? Yeah, can we wear a knee leotard? No, you have to wear your team one, okay? I get butterflies. You do? Yeah. From nervousness or uh -huh. just excitement? I both. Both? <laughs> I always do, too. I get butterflies right before I go up, and it helps me get all psyched for what I have to do. And you guys don't have to be nervous at all, okay? It's your first meet, and nervousness is for me. You guys look great, and you'll do fine. I'll see you next week for the competition, all right? Okay, all right. bye. bye. Your knee's been hurting you, huh? Yeah, it's been bothering me a bit. Lynn's talked me into going to see Dr. Mac again, so I guess I'd better go and see if there's anything wrong. It uh, is not a normal knee. It will never be normal as your other knee is. Now, let me look at this a minute here. And you just let your muscles relax as much as you can. Oh, it's definitely not as stable as it was the last time I looked at it. Mm -hmm. Now, how are you landing on her? Are you landing with your knee straight? Or are you landing with your knee flexed? Or Maybe that's what happened that day. Pretty tight start. Because mm -hmm, I landed short. like I wasn't... I wasn't short, sit down there. but I was just... Like, this knee was locked out for sure, and this mm -hmm. knee was... Well, yeah. that could be a new injury. That's what I'm concerned about. I, I'm hoping that she's going to be able to go at least beaming floor. Yeah, well, we're just going to have to wait and see. It's okay to be optimistic, but we're just going to have to go in there and look. If a cruciate is torn again, we're going to have to reconstruct and repair it again. Too. I think you can handle it. I'm really worried about my little kids, though. Oh, yeah, they meet this weekend. Yeah, if I have to have surgery, I might miss it. And the first competition is always really scary. I remember. <laughs> yeah. How about you, huh? I always worry about everybody else. The thing about yourself or a little bit. <laughs> I could wake up with a sore knee, or I could wake up with a 10-ton cast on. What's that going to do to your gymnastics? What do you think about that? I'm not trying not to. I'm scared, I know.
much cast on. Yeah, I won't lose as much muscle as I did last year. The doctor said I could go back into gymnastics. Oh, good. But if I land wrong, I wouldn't walk again. There's nothing left to fix in there, so... So I've decided not to do gymnastics anymore. You're kidding. <laughs> what are you going to do? Well, I have a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, a lot yeah. of things that you've always yeah. thought you wanted. Maybe now it's... Yeah, now it's different things. I'm being on a council at school, and it's just... Well, it's not going to be the same, though. I don't know. You know, really. Yeah, well, you'll feel okay, though. You really? I know, whenever you try. We're going to miss you just, uh, just a little bit. I hope you guys do well at nationals. I'll well, be thinking about you. First one in four years without you. That's right. <laughs> I guess in a way, I'm not really giving up gymnastics. I'll still be in the gym every week with my kids. As a matter of fact, I met a little five-year-old I'd love to recruit. I couldn't believe it. Her specialty is one-arm cartwheels. Yesterday is over. But the first thing we need to work on is a good nickname. Pain is just a memory. It's a cavalcade of misfits that always must lose. Disney's greatest villains. Coming up next, the 1970s and explosion of country music from historic Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. It's a tune-filled special featuring today's most popular country music acts. Headliners include Dolly Parton, Glenn Campbell, Johnny Cash, Barbara Mandrell, Larry Gatlin, Roy Clark, Mel Tillis, and more. An explosion of country music, next.